Magic Tree House, Fact Checker, Knights and Castles, by Will Osborne and Mary Pope Osborne. Chapter One, The Middle Ages. Imagine that it takes twenty years to build your house. You need thousands of workers to build it. You need hundreds of servants to run it. You need a small army of armored men to protect it. Welcome to the time of knights and castles. We often read about make-believe castles in fairy tales and legends. The real castles that are most like the ones in fairy tales were built in Europe during the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages began about four hundred fifty A.D. They lasted for over one thousand years. This period of history is called the Middle Ages. Because it was between ancient times and modern times, it is sometimes also called the medieval era. Medieval is Latin for Middle Age. Eyeglasses were invented in the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages were a time of great change in Europe. More people learned to read and write. The first universities were built. New kinds of painting and poetry were created. A university is a school of higher learning. The Middle Ages were also a time of war and fighting. People fought with each other about religion. They fought about who should marry who. Mostly, they fought about land. During the Middle Ages, nearly all the land in Europe belonged to kings. Each king's land was called his kingdom. Most kingdoms were too big for a king to defend without help. So, a king often turned over pieces of his kingdom to men he trusted. These men were called barons. The pieces of land were called fiefs or manors. A baron didn't own his manor, but he ruled over all the people who lived and worked there, and he could build a castle on the manor for himself and his family. Some manors were very large. They could include several villages and many farms. In return, a baron swore allegiance to the king. That meant he was willing to die to protect the king and the kingdom. The baron also promised to send soldiers to fight for the kingdom if it were attacked. These soldiers were called knights. Knights swore allegiance to the king and the baron. In return, knights were often given their own manors to rule over. Not all knights got their own manors. Some lived in a lord's castle. Most of the people who actually worked on the land were called serfs. Serfs didn't rule over anyone. They had almost no rights at all. Serfs were allowed to farm a tiny bit of land. They were allowed to keep some of what they grew to feed their families. They had to give the rest to the lord who ruled over them. Anyone who ruled over land and the people on it was called a lord. In return, most serfs also worked in their lord's fields. Some worked in his household. Some even helped build the lord's castle. This system of trading, the use of land for loyalty and work during the Middle Ages, is called the feudal system. Feudal system, king, barons. Knights, serfs, lords, and ladies. In the Middle Ages, most rich people were nobles. Nobles came from families that had been wealthy for a long time. Noble women were called ladies. They could also have titles such as baroness, duchess, or countess. Noble men sometimes had titles such as baron, duke, or count. The feudal system helped keep order during the Middle Ages, but it wasn't very fair. A person almost always had to be born into the nobility. Even people who worked very hard and became rich could not normally become nobles. Today in Europe, America, and many other places around the world, people are free to try to be almost anything they want. Chapter two. The Age of Castles.
Castles were an important part of the feudal system. They were built to protect lords and their land from enemy attackers. Nobody knows exactly when the first castle was built, but the busiest time for castle building in Europe began about 1050 and lasted until the end of the Middle Ages. The word castle comes from the Latin word castellum, which means fortress. So many castles were built during this period that historians sometimes call it the Age of Castles. By the end of the Age of Castles, there were over 12,000 castles in Europe. A historian is someone who studies and writes about history. The First Castles The first castles looked more like forts in the Old West than castles in fairy tales. They were built out of wood. These castles were usually built on a mound of earth called a mutt. They had a tower called a keep, a yard called a bailey, and a tall fence called a palisade. Wooden castles could be built very quickly. Some were built in less than a week, but wooden castles didn't always protect a lord from his enemies. Enemy armies could break through wooden fences. They could burn down wooden buildings. Stone was a much better defense against attack, so by the 1100s, most castles were being built out of stone. Building a Stone Castle Building a stone castle was a lot more work than building a wooden one. Tons of stone had to be dug out of the ground. There were no bulldozers. All the digging had to be done by hand. The heavy stones had to be pulled on wagons or carried by boat to where the castle was being built. Loading and unloading the boats and wagons was a huge job. The actual stonework on the castle was done by men called masons. A master mason worked with the lord to plan the castle. He also made sure all the other castle builders did a good job. Freemasons and rough masons carved the stones and cut them into blocks. Each mason had a special mark that he often carved into the stones he cut. Carving the special mark was like signing a painting. Carpenters did all the woodwork for the castle. As the stone walls got higher and higher, the carpenters built scaffolding so the stone workers could reach the top. Nails and tools were made by blacksmiths. Blacksmiths also fixed broken tools. They stayed busy because tools broke a lot. The master masons, carpenters, and blacksmiths who worked on a castle were all master craftsmen. They had spent many years learning to do their jobs well. Master craftsmen often had apprentices. Apprentices were assistants who were learning to become master craftsmen. The master craftsmen and their apprentices needed lots of help. Most of their helpers were poor people who lived near the castle site. Building a stone castle sometimes took more than 20 years. By the time a castle was finally finished, over a thousand people might have worked on it. 1. Become an apprentice to a master craftsman. Run errands and work without pay. Learn skills. 2. After about seven years, become a journeyman. Practice your skills. Work for low pay. 3. Make something that shows off your skills. It's called your masterpiece. Present your masterpiece to a guild. A guild is a group of master craftsmen who share the same skills. 4. Congratulations! Your work has passed the guild's test. You can now be a member of the guild and train apprentices of your own.